Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random action figures, including a figure from 1980s, and 1993, the same year I was born. But before we get on to the video itself, we're going to look at each and every item on the table, watching it go through before we start on it. The rest of the stuff's going to be random except for this 1993 movie, Ninja Turtles Donatello, which I got. This is from the third movie. And I was so stoked to find this at an antique mall for about a five bucks. You can't beat that. And I was so stoked to find them. Because you don't see a lot of vintage stuff nowadays. But I was so stoked to find them. So happy. So now that we're done with that, we're going to look at each figure. First on the list, we got this little finger puppet alien guy. He's kind of cool. He's going on my monster shelf. He's just so creepy looking. Yeah, don't have any comparisons for him or this guy here. We got a Magic Mixy plush with little wire in them so he can bend and stuff. Ain't that cool? And he's got some batteries. Once I get the batteries connected, he makes noise. Uh, give me a second to get him up and running. His battery's loose in there somewhere. Ah. There we go. I kind of took the battery out so I wouldn't use up the power on this baby. But yeah, it lights up. Ain't that cool? And I got this for free. You can't beat that. Other than that, he makes noise and lights up. That is just so cool, right? Other than that, he makes noise and lights up. Definitely going on my magic shelf for certain. With all my magical creatures from Harry Potter. Next on the list, we got another custom monocle I did. This is a monster monocle custom. It's a shadow hunter custom. He's got this claw hand, so we can go, Ugh, take this, Toa. Ah, ah. He looks pretty cool and fierce looking. Look at that. His shoulders are really well done. I think I did a great job on his shoulders and his legs. No, no knee bends because these are custom-made legs. Otherwise, a good-looking figure. Head can move side to side. He looks pretty mean and fierce. That's what we like our Bonacle customs to be fierce. Next on the list, we got this bobblehead from the Pirates. I don't know this guy very well, but he is pretty cool. And I collect some bobbleheads. No articulation, just his head bobbles. That's fun, huh? Before we get on to the 1993 Ninja Turtles Donatello, we got a Bart Simpson bootleg keychain. And you know me, I collect the Simpsons. And I don't have Bart, but I'd love to get the rest of the Simpsons family. But here we got Lisa Simpson to go with Bart. And yeah, I love the Simpsons that much. These are definitely going on my shelf, for sure. Next on the list, we got good old... Smurfette from the Smurfs. This is a 1980s plush. I got at the flea market a couple days ago. Is this worth the money? Yes. She looks really good and well sculpted and painted? Yes. Other than that, a good looking plush. But now we're going to look at our 1993 Ninja Turtle. This is the Samurai Donatello. 
from the live action movies. This is the third live action movie from 1993. And he looks pretty cool. The head is really well sculpted. Love that. On a ball joint. No articulation anywhere else. But otherwise, he'll look good displayed on my shelf. And that's all there is to say for this last review of the week. I won't be doing any new reviews until I get home from camp on the 19th. But on the 20th, we're going straight to the Monroeville Exchange. But other than that, that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.